Let me give you a little commentary on the Holocaust. The Holocaust is generally deemed to be the worst travesty in human history. Five or six million Jews. I don't know what the, uh, the actual count was, but it was a lot of people. They did a genocide. They tried to wipe out an entire race. Hitler did not take Germany by force. He did not drive in with army tanks. Hitler was elected. Anybody have any idea what the vote count was? What his percentage of the total was? 98% in Austria-Hungary. That's just about everybody. Everybody voted for Hitler because he was going to solve all their economic problems. Did Hitler get elected on Monday and start throwing people into ovens on Friday? No. It was a gradual process. The first thing that Hitler did was start to write newspaper articles. Every, everything that was going wrong was the Jews' fault. They're the ones that caused all these problems. Did the Jews write their own newspaper articles and go, I disagree? Well, not that I can think of. I've never read any newspaper articles that, you know, contradicted any of that. So then, the Jews had to wear the Star of David so we can tell who you are. Did they say, no, that's a violation of my property, privacy. I don't have to tell you whether, you know, I'm Jewish or not. No. The Jews decided, well, it's a religious symbol. We love God. We should be proud to wear the Star of David. Eventually, the, Jew the Germans came in and they broke all of the windows in all of the Jewish businesses in one weekend. The, the Saturday night was known as Kristallnacht, which is German for night of glass. You couldn't walk up and down the sidewalks because they were filled with glass. Did the Jews rise up and say, now, damn it, you're violating my property. You shouldn't do that. No. Gosh, we don't want to make the Germans any madder than they already are. We want to just kind of go along to get along. Don't piss them off. They've got guns. Eventually, the Germans are loading them up into cattle trailers in the, on the train. Where do you think you're going? On vacation? Where do you think they're going to take you? Well, now you're cold and naked and they're walking you into the ovens where you're going to go to mass execution. Is it time now to raise your hand and say, you know, I tend to disagree with all of this. Bang! You're dead. It's too late to complain. You should have complained at the beginning when you at least had a chance. My question to you, and I don't expect you to answer it, just think about it in your head. How bad do things have to get before you do something? Do they have to take away all your property? Do they have to license every activity that you want to engage in? Do they have to be throwing you on cattle cars before you start to say, now wait a minute, I don't think this is a good idea. How long is it going to be before you finally resist and say, no, I will not comply, period? That's a different answer for each person. Ask yourself now, because sooner or later you're going to come to that line, and when they cross it, what are you going to say, well, okay, cross this line. Okay, now cross that line. Okay, now cross this line. And pretty soon you're in a corner. Sooner or later, you've got to draw a line and stand your ground, whether anybody else does or not. That is what liberty is all about. If you think I am radical, let me share with you some thoughts from some of the Founding Fathers. Thomas Jefferson said, and this country with its institutions belong to the people who, oh, excuse me, Thomas Jefferson, and what country can preserve its liberties if its rulers are not warned from time to time that this people preserve the spirit of resistance? Let them take arms. The tree of liberty 
must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Right? We are talking bloodshed if necessary. Abraham Lincoln. This country, with its institutions, belongs to the people who inhabit it. Whenever they shall grow weary of their existing government, they can exercise their constitutional right of amending it or their constitutional right to dismember or overthrow it. He also said, we the people are the rightful masters of Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. How do you know if the Constitution has been perverted if you haven't read it? 